Uh, I guess it's time to smell some cyanide again. We have to just wait for those big chunks to disappear. He's going at a rapid velocity. In theory, it was kind of like a bomb and it could explode at any time. I'm pretty sure that without all the water, this is just 90% MSG. <laughs> and I don't think I have to tell you what I think it looks like. Not only did it not smell anything like cherry, it kind of smelled like hydrochloric acid, and it burned my nostrils. If you eat a handful of these, you die. Do we just like... We eat it. <coughs> oh. It's not that bad. <laughs> Do I have chicken sauce on my face? No. I'm good. <laughs> I had to wear a mask and keep things really well ventilated, or else my eyes would start burning. But either way, I just pulled out a small amount of it, and I sucked it into my mouth. Whoa. It feels a little bit like making a bowl of cereal with water. So the first step is to fill this thing up with water. It left me with a bunch of stuff contaminated with uranium, as well as dirty paper towels and gloves. It could lead to full-on combustion. A dirty animal farm and uh, a very used porta potty. It's finally ready. And it still looks exactly the same. It was of course still just a bunch of toxic and carcinogenic chemicals though. It just gets blown directly out the window. Accidents are going to happen. It kind of looked a little bit like a weird growing dog turd. <laughs> oh God. After hearing that it could take me to the next level, I was definitely interested. So, that's about it. <laughs>